and president of the Institute for Security Disaster and Emergency Studies, Dr. Ishmael Norman, has described as a joke Ghana's preparedness towards the management of the uh, coronavirus disease should there be an outbreak. He was speaking at Media General's public forum on the coronavirus global scourge. The allocation of 2.5 million cities is actually the biggest joke because it's coming from the government. I think oftentimes governments and people do not know how important disaster preparedness truly, truly is because it can bring your government, your programs, everything you've been doing so hard to build can collapse overnight. But we don't take it seriously. He said the Ghana Health Service has failed Ghanaians in the way it has handled the issue. We appear to have a system-wide disaster emergency preparedness plans with standard operating procedures in place that is known by all hospitals under its care, private hospitals and clinics, and other important organizations. If I'm wrong, I stand to be corrected. Though there is disease outbreak and investigation, simulation exercises for real emergency response is often not done. According to him, although there appears to be credible situation monitoring at some entry points, there is the need to be aware that the country's borders are porous. We should bear in mind that Ghana's borders are porous. And the people who come to this country to do illegal mining don't often pass through the legitimate borders and entry points. And these are the groups that we should be careful about. In response, Director of Public Health at the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Bedusa Kodye, indicated although the country's preparations are optimal, it is well placed to manage the issue should there be a confirmed case. We are not optimal yet. But then what we have for now, should there be a case? I don't believe that immediately there will be 200 cases on us at one time. But then with one case, quickly, based on the needed systems to activate. Initial few cases, those are the areas that we have planned. It's not optimal, but it's better than none. Right now, let's give you some statistics about uh, how uh, WHO, the World Health Organization, sees Ghana's uh, preparedness uh, for coronavirus response. So there are uh, uh, several pillars, as you can see here, uh, for coordination, the WHO scores Ghana 100%. And for risk communication, uh, uh, we are scored about 80% and surveillance 73%. If you look down here, uh, case management is zero because we uh, don't have any cases. Rapid response teams... Uh, show 30% and then the rest of uh, point of entry inspections and infection prevention etc fall within 50% and 59%. Now if we look at surveillance, surveillance comes just a little below the 80% for risk communication which uh, means that we're not doing too uh, badly. But so how does Ghana compare to the rest of Africa? Let's uh, take a look at that. If you look at this, uh, uh, the green, green countries mean that there are adequate responses and uh, red show limited and gold show moderate. So Ghana clearly on this uh, uh, African map shows uh, moderate readiness and if we look at Kenya, Tanzania, Cameroon, Algeria, they all have adequate uh, responses and right next to Ghana is uh, Nigeria which uh, indicates adequate response. So that's a clear breakdown of what WHO uh, makes of the African region in relation to the coronavirus uh, 19 readiness uh, by uh, readiness status according to country.
All right, so let's uh, go to Skype right now and speak to uh, Gabriel Benaku, who is the president of the Coalition of NGOs on Health. Uh, Mr. Benaku, thanks very much uh, for your time. So uh, if we look at all the presentations from yesterday's uh, Media General uh, Public Forum on coronavirus, uh, all the experts all actually made their views clearly known. But from where you stand and from the perspective of NGOs on health, how do you evaluate Ghana's uh, coronavirus readiness? Yeah, thank you. I think uh, over the last three weeks, we, our position has been very clear. The Ghana Coalition of NGOs on Health is spread all over the country, at least 201 districts, and we keep on monitoring. And we have consistently indicated that Ghana pre prepared well in terms of issuing press statement, in terms of uh, initiating public uh, education, but keep on deteriorating uh, at the point that it need to intensify three things. One, community engagement has been lacking. All right, so we'll get to uh, Gabriel Benaco shortly when we re-establish contact with him on Skype. But right now, let's uh, quickly get onto the telephone lines and speak with Cecilia Senu, who is with the Non-State Actors in Health. Uh, he jo she joins us now. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am, and thank you very much. So uh, the conversation now is about preparedness. Do you get the sense that as a country, we are prepared? Mm -hmm. Yes, I believe Ghana from all indication has has done some work prepared for it but like uh, um, uh, Gabriel is saying we still have a lot to do I think we haven't done much with community engagement we have community structures that we have not really engaged in this program to let people be aware because I believe that the bigger picture is also on the ground I know at the airport, a lot of work has been done. I just returned from Kenya, and we had very intensive. Apart from that, as a personal person, I work on I think we have issued a lot of bits of uh, statements. And I think before you can protect yourself, you also need to protect yourself. If we see what is happening in China and other developed countries, and the people who are the front lines us, mm. us have to be more protected so that they don't get the disease because they infection. Because we realize that a lot of them in China died, and many of them are infected because they didn't know about this earlier. But now that information has gone, there's a lot of protective clothing. Are we away? And the front lines are well equipped. I think this is where we have to be aware of. And the border system, our communities, and especially traditional leaders, right. every body on the ground should be alert. Like the way we address and respond to Ebola, we should use the same structure to engage and make right. sure that we protect ourselves and we are ready. So right. we still have a lot to do. So, so I know some things that the president is taking we but still there's a lot of work to be done. Right. Uh, Madam Zainu, we appreciate if you could reposition yourself a bit. We're losing you uh, gradually, but I hope that you could hear me clearly. I mean, I, I appreciate that you get the sense that we have adequate preparations. Uh, we, we have to start from a point. And, but yesterday at the Media General Public Forum, experts who address the public forum are of the view that the arrangements in place are like a joke. I mean, we've allocated just a 2.5 million to to uh, emergency responses and the preparedness for uh, major centers like rich hospital and other uh, surveillance centers across the country are not really adequate in their estimation do you agree with this and what do you think that we can add up to make our preparations uh, a bit more adequate and complete yes we believe that uh, health is not only national the regional, the district, the sub districts are all very important and must be well equipped. And so, as they indicated yesterday, money has been given. The other country is still hopefully inadequate because if the coastal barrels get to Ghana, the number of people who will die. If you look at China, where there are a lot of resources and the way they are dying. And so, I think this must be a priority. We must really equip every facility, the front line staff with resources protective clothing, and then we must give a lot of education, we must partner civil society, 
We must partner our traditional leaders. We must partner everybody so that even the, the traditional herbal medicines, everybody, religious bodies, everybody must be informed. And you need resources to do right. this only at the national level. But I think that the district, the regional, and all levels must be reached. So we have to strengthen our partnership and collaboration with existing structures and talk about civil society, especially the religious body. Everybody go to the mosque, everywhere. All right, uh, Madam, we're grateful for your time. Uh, thank you very much uh, for those views. Let's see if we can get uh, Gabriel Benaku uh, back on. So we lost you uh, briefly, but thank you very much for staying yeah. with us. So uh, I was asking you the very critical question of whether you get the sense that our preparedness is adequate. You think, uh, just like uh, Ms. Senu, that we should start from somewhere and what we've done is appreciable? Yeah, while well, appreciating what we have done to about 40%, generally, if I want to score uh, the Ministry of Health, Ghana Health Service and the country at large, we need to strengthen our institutional arrangement at the border. Uh, we have at least 15 border, 35 districts are greatly affected by in terms of our uh, relationship with other countries. And those areas must be prioritized immediately. Uh, 2.5 million is inadequate to do that. The second aspect is that the government, uh, the Ministry of Health need to really cause a national dialogue. Regional and national dialogue has been lacking. The uh, city in Accra thinking that Ghana is in Accra. No. For example, Upper West here, while I'm currently in Wa, this morning I was in Nandom, I was in Babli, I was in uh, Laura, and there's nothing happening as uh, in terms of preparedness. So we need to have regional dialogues and sensitization so that all the uh, stakeholders involved will be fully sensitized and, and all our uh, communication, risk communication uh, activities are, are activated to ensure that everybody is prepared. The other aspect that we have not done very well is research. We are only getting literature from other countries about coronavirus. Where is our research institutions? What are they talking about coronavirus? What are some of the alternatives? They need to come out and, 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 and begin to advocate for policy reforms in the Ghana health systems. So the, the research institution in Ghana, in the health sector, where are they? We, we are charging them. Why are they keeping quiet? They, are, they have to play a critical role. Coronavirus was diagnosed some uh, 30 years ago, even in Wuhan. But uh, apart from that, what do they teach in our public health uh, institutions? And what are the dynamics? And what, what are the other related that Ghana uh, should know about it? And therefore, policymakers must prepare to see how we can integrate right. this preventive uh, activity. So these are the, the Ministry of Health must activate a platform where all stakeholders, just like what you did uh, yesterday, everybody must come on board in all the regions. Takura Day, the Volta region, the uh, northern region, uh, upper west, uh, in the western north. We need to really have a national and regional right. dialogue to get information to prepare ourselves well. Right, uh, Gabriel Benaku, thank you very much uh, for your time. Uh, Gabriel Benaku is president of the Coalition of NGOs on Health.